After school session on AO3. Summary. The typical saying of love knows no bounds. Bakugo wanted nothing more in life than to be the one and only. He wanted to strive for the top and leave a mass of bodies in his wake. So why? Why did a certain Deku keep making his life a living, miserable hell? Nachan, I... The young and timid voice of Midoriya Izuku had always made the insides flip and turn inside out. And for the longest... He thought it was because of his sheer hatred towards the other male. But if that was the case, then how come every time they passed one another in the spaced out hallways, or when they made brief eye contact during those times, and the worthless shit heel threw a rather nervous smile in his direction, why did his stomach flip up and lodge himself right into the base of his throat? Why? Why did a certain Deku keep making his life a living, breathing, miserable hell? I'll tell you why. And his brain was rather brief with it. You're in fucking love with the idiot. Just accept it and move on. Bakugo didn't want to believe such and pushed the thought free from his mind for the last three weeks. But the denial only made his symptoms worse. Thus in turn making him more irritable and less approachable than he already was. It pissed him off, and at the same time it was boggling his mind. Why was he acting like some lovesick chick? All because of Izuku? Deku, for God's sakes? Just tell him how you feel, simple as that, right man? Be manly about it too. And so, with a little push from half her brains, there was Bakugo waiting on the stupid little Deku during after school hours leaning back against the teacher's desk in their homeroom class. This is so stupid. Just leave. But he knew that if he left, the guilt of not getting it off his chest would never leave, and he would end up seriously hurting someone or possibly killing someone because of it. And both were intolerable on his somewhat clean record. Freak! His attention turned away from his thoughts and towards the whining of the classroom door. Bakugo met up with his nervous pair of green eyes that flickered across the row of empty desks before landing on his. The eyes blinked once and quickly turned away before slowly coming back to his view. N and never in his life had he wanted to punch himself in the gut so many times to relieve that lightened heart tension he felt there. Kachan, uh, hi. Just get in here, fuck munch. Bakugo snapped angrily at Deku and instantly regretted it. Why? He couldn't tell. Because it felt like right. No, goddammit, I'm losing focus. Deku stepped further into the classroom and closed the door behind him. The sandy-haired blonde scanned the trembling physics and sighed to relieve the tension in his stomach. Of course, Deku would be nervous. His body was practically shaking underneath his uniform. He fumbled his hands in front of him as he stepped towards Bakugo, keeping his eyes to the ground along that way. Bakugo continued staring at the boy's shaking body for much longer than he should have until a slight, very unsettling thought weird through his mind. I wonder what it would feel like to hold him. As soon as he thought such, he scowled and shook his head. Focus. Don't lose sight of the task. Bakugo took in three deep breaths and pushed out with a pause. In between, then started directing into Izuku's forehead. Oi, look at me, squirt. Squirt? The hell did that come from? Izuku obliged, brushing heavily when he realized how quickly he looked up. Um, yes, sorry, I'm just nervous, I guess. Yeah, uh, shit. This isn't manly at all. Bakugo rubbed the back of his messy hair with his hands, drying out the thin layer of sweat there through his roots. He sighed again to relieve the stress he felt and stared into Izuku's big green eyes. And for just a moment, he realized how perfectly round and shiny they were with sun balanced right outside. So I... He swallowed before his throat could even dry up and quickly licked his lips. I... 
I... I like you. I like you a lot, okay? It didn't help that he stuttered, and it didn't help that Izuku's face went fifty shades darker in a matter of ten seconds. It seemed like he staggered a step backwards and almost crashed into the desk across from the one Bakugo was leaning up against, which coincidentally happened to be his own. Hachan, just shut up, okay? I'm not good with this fucking shit. Bakugo breathed in again. This would be the upteenth breath in a span of five seconds. He had settled his eyes closed during the matter and opened them, staring right into Izuku's watering green eyes. I like you. That's all there is to it. The stupid little shit that you do, I like that. Your smiles, your annoying voice, your even more annoying face. I like all of that, just you. When had the broom gotten so hot? Bakugo could feel every part of his body start to sweat, and he quickly wiped both of his hands onto the dark gray pants. Ugh, this is so fucking stupid. I can't believe I'm saying this stupid shit. Ugh. Realizing he was speaking his thoughts out loud. Much like Izuku would, Bakugo shook his head to recollect himself. Izuku was standing in front of him, shocked and redder than a cherry. He hadn't said a single thing during Bakugo's confession, which pissed off the sandy blonde more than anything. Whoa, shit munch. Aren't you going to say something? Why? It was the question he had been asking himself on repeat the past three weeks, and the question he didn't want to answer. Bakugo quickly looked the other way so that he could gather enough sense to say an intelligible line, and then he turned back to face Izuku. The other's face was soft, and it was scrunched up in a conjuring look that made him want to... No, stop. Stop. I don't really know why. Bakugo quickly answered, so that his thought wouldn't take a wrong turn. It's just, every time I see you, I get this stupid feeling like my stomach is trying to fly out of my fucking throat or something. I can't really explain it. And just... Katsuki groaned again turning away and closing his eyes so that he didn't have to look at Izuku's adorable face. Yes, adorable. He confessed now, so he might as well go all the way. I don't know what the hell you do to me, but damn it, Deku, you're so fucking annoying that it's cute and I can't shake off that feeling. I don't want to believe, but it's true. I fucking like you a lot, okay? There, he said it. He said what he wanted to say. He said what he had to say and even said what he'd been thinking the past three weeks. So it was over, right? Hell fucking no. Izuku did something extremely extraordinary undeku like that Bakugo's mouth went slack-jawed. He had hugged him, and what made it even worse for the sandy blonde was that it felt just right, like they had meant to do this for a long time. Izuku squeezed Bakugo's firm waist for another five seconds before he turly unwound his arms around him. I... I like you, too, Kachan. Izuku mumbled underneath his breath, the sergeant catching into his other's uniform shirt. For some reason, Bakugo didn't want to let go. So, on the spur of the moment, and because he accused brain and tendency for touch, he grabbed Izuku and held him close as well, a soft squeal leaving the boy's mouth and Bakugo felt his heart jump. Hopefully, that was his heart. He held Izuku tightly and rested his forehead in the midst of the other's curly black hair, soft inhaling the scent of a natural order and faint shampoo. This feels nice, his brain thought, and he agreed for once. You know what else would make this feel nice? Without thinking, Bakugo answered back. What? A sweet, gentle kiss. Why, at the time Bakugo was thinking, Izuku was doing things to him that he didn't even realize, and it made Bakugo act on a whim. Slowly, the boy lowered his arms further down the other's waist and pushed him further into the desk, as gently as he could make it. Izuku gasped in slight shock, and with the open invitation, Bakugo pressed his lips against his. He could tell how shocked the other was at his attempted skills in kissing. Unfortunately for Deku, he wasn't his first kiss, but he would definitely be his most memorable. 
Bakugo's lips moved smoothly against Izuku's, and he gently bit down on the bottom lip and tugged softly. He did this a few times while slowly caressing his dry hands up both the boy's legs and into his waist, where he played at the waistline, teasingly before pressing his body firm against his. This elected another gasp out of Izuku, and Bakugo took this opportunity. His tongue started to explore the wet cavity, fleshed over teeth, and on going with the other's wet muscle. He could already tell Izuku didn't learn a thing or two about kissing in his past years, but that didn't matter. Bakugo was doing something he caught himself dreaming about more than three weeks. Izuku pulled away slowly to catch his breath, leaving behind a sloppy saliva trail that trailed out of Bakugo's bottom lip and led to his top lip. You suck at kissing, Deku. Bakugo teased. The other blushed heavily and looked away, but Bakugo focused his eyes back onto his. Good thing you're going to have me around to practice. Bakugo delivered another swift kiss to the boy's slightly gaped lips. His tongue greedily flashed over the others. Once they were apart, Izuku threw in the question Bakugo wasn't prepared to answer yet. So, so are we a thing now? Like, a couple? The sandy blonde stared at Izuku's lips longer than he should have before trailing up the boyish features of his face, then finally into the questioning brightening his eyes. God, why are you so fucking cute? It was annoying. He'd used to hate looking at this face, and now he can't get enough of it. He used to hate hearing his voice, but that was all he could ever hear. He'd used to hate every little goddamn thing about Izuku Midoriya. And now, here he was, think about how dark life would be without Shipmunch in his world. Bakugo pressed into Izuku once again and rested his forehead onto the smaller boy's shoulders. I guess, he murmured, before prepping the other boy's neck with chaste sweet kisses. I know you people love BKDK. How do I know this? Because those are the videos that always, like, do the best. Like, those are the videos that always... Uh, get the most views, get the most likes, get the most comments, whatever. Um, I like BKDK. It is my second favorite ship. My first has to be Eraser Mike. Like, without a doubt, Eraser Mike. Top tier, my OTP. Love it. As always, make sure to eat, sleep, drink water, take your meds, have a wonderful day or night. Join our community Discord server, link is in the description. Subscribe to see more of my content, and thank you so much for watching.